The Curious Case of Sketch. Out that the live streaming format has inspired some of the cringiest, <laughs> reprehensible, and downright degenerate yo, content Yo, yo, come on, bro. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, come on, bro. Like, you can't be talking about, like, streamers and all that, and then you bring up these three as a, as a prime example, bro. Come on, bro. You, you're making a bad example for, you know what I'm saying? But it has also opened come up on, an opportunity bro. for Chill fans off. to deeply connect that? with great creators Senna. through long hours of virtual hangouts, which has led to some streamers going from Damn. ordinary people I mean, to A or B list oh, celebrities. Okay. Kylie Cox, who goes by the alias the Sketch, fuck? has had an... You said who? A or B list celebrities. Kylie Cox, who goes by... I don't know what I thought this. I thought this nigga name was like Austin or some shit, bro. He looks like a Austin, or maybe a Kyle, but like he's really a Austin though, for real, for real, bro. If we really looking at him for real, this nigga said Kyle. Kyle what the fuck? By the alias Sketch has had an unbelievably profound impact on pop culture in his quick rise to popularity. His catchphrases and slogans have permeated throughout the internet to the point where some of the biggest athletes in the world are mimicking the 25 year old streamer. He also got an upcoming rapper on the billboard charts just by reciting his lyrics on stream. True. Even the NFL has collaborated with Sketch. When Bro, when I seen that they said this nigga was gonna be announcing a draft pick, I I seen it. But I just couldn't imagine it in my head, bruh. So I was just like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, good for sketch. But then I seen it and I was like, oh wait, this is real. Like it didn't really hit me until I actually seen him doing this. I was like, When you Whoa, learn about Sketch's story, you will understand motion. why so many people around the world love him. It's much deeper than a weird kid who plays video games and says funny jokes. While most live streamers grinded for years and nobody knew them only to go viral and be seen as an overnight success, Sketch actually was an overnight success. His first Twitch stream was on July 24th, 2023, not even one year ago, where he streamed for just one hour and had a peak of just six viewers while playing World of Warships. All modern day streamers understand that growing a following on Twitch alone is not practical, so they typically use TikTok TikTok, Instagram Reels, or Shorts to post highlights or clips of their streams in hopes of going viral and then directing those fans over to Twitch. Sketch started a TikTok and wisely grew the page by posting other streamers' highlights. Hey, I told y'all about that method, bruh. I told y'all about the method, bruh. I told y'all about that. 6,000 followers, his account was eligible to stream on TikTok Live. We all know TikTok has a much more sophisticated algorithm and disturbingly knows exactly what we're thinking. So TikTok quickly sure. began recommending Sketch's streams to the Aiden Ross, I Show Speed, Neon, Jinxie, W and L live stream mm. community. Streamers like Speed and Aiden Ross gained their first fans by streaming NBA 2K. Sports games always have a cult following, and fans are it's constantly looking for new streamers to watch. And bigger streamers are always looking to play against other streamers for great trash talk moments. Why are y'all going to that stream and say I shall speak said you will? Oh God. <laughs> but Sketch's game of choice was Madden. Sketch met a creator named Zach Lewis in the Madden community. Zach, Zach is a former D1 college quarterback turned streamer who has a few hundred thousand followers on TikTok. And they all were about to fall in love. Oh, I seen, I seen him. Cause I, I, what was the first time I saw Sketch? Uh, oh, first time I saw Sketch was on Jinxie stream. But then I looked and I looked at Sketch's TikTok because I was like, all right, well, let me see like what kind of clips and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? He got, and that's when I seen the Zach Lewis dude. I didn't know he was a football player though first. I didn't know that. But yeah, nah, Sketch is hilarious, bro. Sketch. I Zach and Sketch. Sketch would play 2v2 games where they would be on the same team. Their viral moments mostly consisted of Sketch throwing terrible passes or making horrible plays and Zach freaking out. What are you looking at dude seriously how stupid are you dude, <laughs> dude you said no intelligence in souls okay 21 21 uber even further from the god it's damn it it's crazy what a little he will do to somebody but the clips that would go even more viral were of sketch actually making great plays then concluding them with hilarious celebrations his signature became the dog peeing celebration oh my gosh is that a heater oh. is that a heater Good catch. Sketch went back to Twitch while That's streaming a heater, with Zach. Brother. Zach had 40,000 followers and helped boost Sketch's Twitch presence. After one month of consistent streams, he was now averaging about 230 viewers. Sketch would immerse himself into the game and act like he was the quarterback calling the plays. Combine that with his terrible- November 2023.
What the fuck? I thought by then you was already getting like purple mic quality, and it was entertaining and borderline realistic role playing. Here we go, scholar, scholar, everyone run you smart. You have to be kidding me. Run smart, ace, graffiti, ace, graffiti. <laughs> this, this guy has to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. I throw darts. I throw darts. <laughs> If you followed his personal TikTok in late 2023, you would see the same exact video every single week. He would go to every Houston Texans football home game, dance to soaks. Yo, uh, Chernomani, appreciate the follow, bro. City by 310 Baby in the parking lot while wearing his headset and eat his Trill burger and fries. People couldn't help but assume Sketch has some sort of developmental disorder, and the way he <laughs> talked seemed to just lean into that. Bro, I, I seen him? on uh jinxie's jinxie's e-day and i was just like bro is this nigga sped bro like why does he talk like that but then like i i started to understand it the more i seen it and i was like oh, okay i get it I but get at this it. point they didn't know they just followed because he was funny but right nah, at the fact, end of 2023 is. sketch was discovered by jinxie who is currently yeah, the number one streamer in What's the good? world by average viewers and subscribers jinxie challenged sketch to a game of madden and while most streamers would try to ass kiss and be nice to a streamer who could give them a career sketch did the opposite immediately starting off the stream with some trash talk this is, uh, the, this is the athlete against the Against the e-boy, okay? So you you better but you better buckle up. I'm sick and tired yeah. of all these ass kiss yeah. all these yeah. ass kickers <laughs> in your live, okay? I'm setting the tone now. This this is not a friendly game. And of course he had to hit his classic celebration after a touchdown. Blue 42! Blue 42! <laughs> yo, me on me. yo, why? <laughs> Like, bro, what? During this stream, oh, Sketch this averaged 3,500 viewers, which is more than a lot of full-time um, streamers. Jinxie's fans loved Sketch, so he invited him uh, on again uh, nine days later where they played Madden, Fortnite, and Rainbow Six Siege in front of 43,000 viewers. Maybe we try I'll, take, I'll take the respect there. Oh yeah, Roblox. Really nice low blow there. You're talking stuff about Roblox? Very nice people at Roblox. <laughs> Yeah. Love Roblox. No. I play lots of Roblox. No, yeah, I'm just saying. Oh no, nothing with wrong chicks. With, with chicks, by the way, lots of chicks. How old? We need to That's a crazy a question. I don't ever ask. Fans absolutely <laughs> loved their chemistry. They couldn't get enough. Said, that's a crazy and Sketch got to be related somehow. The way Sketch talks is like a mixture of Morty and Donald Trump, and I can't unhear it. Naturally, when you collaborate with a large. That's such a good comparison. Morty and Do that's a good compare. I never thought about it like that. Larger streamer, that's a good you'll comparison. get a huge bump in viewers, but then it typically goes down after you start your next stream. But this was not the case for Sketch. After just two streams with Jinxie, he began averaging over 3,000 viewers consistently. He was legitimately stealing viewership. And I'm going to steal your attention for just one minute. i you a clip a year for free the to get seems which solidified their friendship and proved sketches actually really quick with his jokes and random thoughts you know we got two predators out here we have alligators and we have guys like jinxie i'm just kidding at the start of 2024 <laughs> hundreds of sketches viewers created fan accounts on tiktok they okay yeah and i seen one of these bro i'm not gonna lie i thought i, I thought i was looking at sketch bro and it wasn't i, I was like i was kind of confused bro yeah, it wasn't one of these that said they weren't sketch. It wasn't one of these. It was like, no, nah, it wasn't the. I don't. Yo, I don't think it was one of these ones though. It was a different one. It was a different account. Sibala sketch on Twitch. Uh, nah, it wasn't. No, nah. it was like it looked just like his. Uh, act, it was like one of these profile pictures where like he's sitting at his desk, and got that same jersey on he always be wearing, and I was just like, bro, what the fuck. I seen the account, but then I was like, I thought I was following Sketch. I'm like, maybe he got banned or some shit. But like, it was, it was just random. You don't do that from that music vid. It's about pizza. They clipped the funny moments and flooded the TikTok algorithm with his celebrations. Sure. This is my record. Check this out. <laughs> his catchphrases, audibles, and hand signs were constantly going viral. Like his signature special team. What's that slogan. camera angle? Special teams, special plays, special players. He also called himself Evil Mr. Beast. The universe gives and it takes away, but me, I only take. 
I'm evil Mr. Beast, okay? These viral clips spread through TikTok like wildfire. The first two months of 2024, everyone's For You page was overloaded with Sketch's content. But the no, catchphrase that fundamentally changed his career was... Yo, What's up, brother? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this FaceTime call with Jinxie was the very first time Sketch ever said, What's up, brother? And for whatever reason, stupid, this seemed to resonate bro. with people all around the world. A trend emerged on TikTok where girls would lift up their finger and say, What's up, brother? to their boyfriends to see if they would respond with Sketch's catchphrases. Walk up to your man right now and say, What's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Special team, special play, special players. Tuesday, Tuesday. This TikTok got 67 Jesus. million views, and this was right around the time of the yearly NCAA March Madness tournament. What? Dozens of athletes in this highly broadcasted event were celebrating like Sketch. That's one brother. Oh, good shot, brother. Four brothers. That's four. Bro, that's so funny. Let me get that, brother. Let me get that. Gotta hit that, brother. Check. That is game, brother. Oh. What's up, brother? Uh, please, Sketch celebrates during March Madness. Even one of the players from UConn, who won the March Madness title, paid his respects. Thank you, brother. Thank you for coming. From there, social media managers of NBA teams would test and see if their players knew the meme. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Brother, brother! Even NBA MVP runner-up Luka Doncic was tapped in, kinda. What's up, brother? <laughs> Player special. Is that right? What's up, brother? <laughs> Golf professional Bryson DeChambeau threw up the pointer That's finger fine. after hitting a hole in one at the Masters. The uh, uh, just send the link. This is Bryson DeChambeau's third shot. Oh! In on the fly. His first shot went in the water. Thank you, brother. Even sports newscasters were what? showing support. What's up, brothers? Yo, how the fuck Special these goals? Special plays. Special players. And with that, Sketch was even streaming Madden no, with fine. actual NFL players Vontaze Perfect and Tyreek Hill. I really meant that no. shit, nigga. Sorry for cussing no. sex in that word. No, it's, it's okay. Sorry. It's okay. If you can say it, I can say it. I'm just kidding. Joke some. <laughs> and there, he was able to meet his all time favorite Texan. Nah, bro, Sketch got damn word pads, bro. Sketch can say it if you want to, bro. Fuck it. Fuck it, bro. Sketch can say it if you want to, bro. Oh! AJ Stroud, and all of this eclipsed to Sketch being invited to the NFL Draft to announce the Houston Texans' fourth round pick. Saying, Hunter, go ahead and Google How are it. Doing? Make <laughs> some noise! Come on! This is football! Come on! However, in my opinion, that's so crazy because it's like, like this is less than a year, bruh. Like he started, and then less than a year, it was like. Blown up, bro. Like, what? Like, what? What, what did he do before this? The easiest thing that sketched influence was getting 25. his favorite artist onto the Billboard Hot R&B and Hip Hop charts. Sketch became a fan of the upcoming rapper King Hendrix, particularly his song "Leaving the Lot." After playing the song on a Facts. February 14th stream, it drew 500,000 on-demand official U.S. streams, and it surged 175 percent to 1.4 million streams as well as That's multiple viral insane, TikToks of sketch bro. rapping drew That's millions of insane. people to stream the song the song secured 18 million streams on spotify and hendrix shot up to number 49 on the billboard hot r&b and hip-hop charts which crazy, was his bro. first time ever charting within two months sketch became a cultural phenomenon who has influenced sports music and the internet as a whole naturally this piqued people's curiosity who is this kid where did he come from does he have some sort of disability or is this a <laughs> character he was invited on various podcasts and Including I, haven't, Vaughn, I haven't seen it yet. I, I wanted to watch the one with Theo Vaughn. Bradley Martin, Steve Will Do It, I Show Speed. And this is where he gave the world his background. And people were shocked to learn about his life. Sketch, Wait, whose real name he accidentally leaked, is Kylie Cox. He grew up in the Houston, Texas area to two loving parents and two sisters. A lot of his early years were spent playing different sports like golf and football and watching his favorite team, the Texans, while attending the Woodlands Christian Academy, a private school. Are the Texans good? I don't watch football. Are the Texans good? Cool. Sketch played for his varsity football team as a middle linebacker. Although he is considered small by football standards, standing at just 5'9", 200 pounds, Sketch was a physical player 
making big plays and big tackles. Kylie graduated from high school and attended Mississippi State. It was revealed in a viral TikTok that Kylie actually joined Kappa Sigma, which is one of the five largest fraternities in the United States. However, after just one semester at MSU, Sketch packed his things and transferred to the University of Oklahoma, where he completed a full year. But after not getting comfortable there, he transferred twice more, first Damn. to Texas State and finally to Lone Star College. No, I mean, that's a good idea. Three, but he always uh, had a backup yeah, yeah, yeah. plan. And that backup uh, plan more than was likely, yeah. for his father's company. In 2006, Sketch's dad founded Grace Point Homes, which is a residential construction company Wait. that offers amenities, custom homes, and interior design services. Grace Point earned a massive $75 million in revenues in 2016 what and averages fuck? 10 to 50 million in revenue yearly. Because of the success of the company, Sketch decided he needed to become a licensed real estate agent, so he attended the Champion School of Real Estate. The family business employed him and his sister Maddie. Sketch was hired on as a land acquisitioner where he would buy the land for his dad's company, get it approved through a committee, and then they would build houses on the land to sell it for a profit. Grace Point has built hundreds of homes that go for upwards of a million dollars and have oh. also built full communities like Stillwater Community and Lakeside Cove. Along with building oh. homes and communities, Sketch's family business supports a lot of local charities. For example, Grace Point has helped raise money for a foster care home in the Houston area and has given away free home renovations to families in their community. This charity work from his dad's business inspired Sketch to release upcoming merch and donate the proceeds to a charity Grace Point has worked with before. I'm, uh, are you gonna do some merch? I'm working on merch right now. The goal is to, or the, we're, we're gonna donate the first merch drop to like a woman's shelter. Ooh, wait, that's really cool, actually. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Hopefully it does good. That's great, man. Yeah, the woman shelter is just a, my dad's business, we, like, we do a lot of stuff with them, and they're just a good cause or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with interest rates skyrocketing and home oh, sales plummeting within the past Damn, year. that's crazy, bro. Like, Sketch just a good fucking guy. Here, business slowed down, and that's when Sketch transitioned to streaming. Family allowed Sketch to jump from various different colleges and secure a pretty easy job while working from home. I mean, what other job allows you to live stream in your downtime? He doesn't seem to have the grind. Hey, I know a couple of my friends, bruh. A couple of my friends. Like, they're like my IRL homies. Like, not, not the ones I be streaming with. But, like, they, uh, they, bruh, they work, like, some security job or whatever. It's like two or three of my friends. And they literally, they have like three monitors, right? One of their monitors is for work. And they're watching like security cameras or whatever for like three or four different homes, right? All right there. And they work at night. They're watching security cameras right there. And they respond like if the person presses the button, then like that's what they do. Like they just like, you know, identify whatever and then they'll uh, like let them in. That's all they do, right? And... Then on their other two monitors, they're either watching movies or playing games or some shit. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna work right now. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? It's like, yeah, I work 14 hours. And they're getting paid. Like, they're getting paid, bro. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? It's gotta be the easiest job ever, bro. I just know, like, I wouldn't be trusted with some shit like that. Like, if I'm working from home, bro, I'm probably not really gonna be working for real, bro. Now, if I had a job like Sketch, where, like, all I had was two emails a day or some shit like that, it's like, all right, cool. But like, you know that set mentality like other streamers because he didn't grow up struggling. And if you have those luxuries, you might as well take advantage of it. Most rich kids would develop a snobby, entitled attitude, but Sketch is the polar opposite. He also talks about how he owes his parents a lot and is grateful for their support. But with his rise to fame and people learning more about him, they started to wonder if Sketch has a legitimate disability or if he was just playing a character. It became wildly debated online after he made an appearance on Barstool where he did not represent his online persona. She's coming to Houston. She's coming to Houston. She wants a Rolls Royce, though. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. I can walk myself in a buzzsaw. You stay to her. firm, right? Yeah. I thought Sketch was wild from the stream, so I can't believe how normal he was when he first walked in. Finding out that Sketch had a fake character is like finding out that the WWE is staged when you're little. Shit got me pissed, low key. It's not very often that you see live streamers playing a character. At the same time, they aren't exactly being their true selves. Doctor Disrespect is. I was about to say, Doctor Disrespect is probably like the best example of that. But he's also, like, the best example of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where he is, like, the, if you want to, you know, build a persona around yourself, it has to be so obviously fake to the point where, like, it's entertaining. And over the top and shit to where people are like, oh, yeah, that guy is fucking entertaining. Like, that's what we're here for. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, because you can't even have it like you're trying to portray it like it's real. Like, obviously, he doesn't act like this at fucking home whenever the cameras are off and shit. But, like, Dr. Disrespect is a fucking goat, though, bro. He's definitely on the Mount Rushmore as far as, like, streaming goes, bro. Because he's him when it comes to this streamer fucking... That is obviously... It, like, look at, like, bro, look at him. Typically, streamers are representing who they are in real life, but pursue a heightened oh, yeah. or more animated versions of themselves yeah, I think online Keso, to be... I genuinely think Queso actually be, like, crashing out of shit like this off-stream, too, bro. I genuinely think that he's actually, like... I think he's being serious, bro. Like, Queso is a... He's, he's a special kind of guy, bro. He's special, bro. Special. More entertaining. Sketch never claimed to have a developmental disorder or condition. That is true. Him faking a disability was an unfair. What's up with Sketch faking autism and why is it all right to people? I don't really care one way or another, but it seems sort of fucked up with people coping. Someone's copying an autistic person's mannerisms, everything for profit and clown seems like he's portraying people on a spectrum as entertainment. <clears throat> kind of these bad tastes of, in the mouth that there are people legitimately struggling with blowing for acting the way he does, and he just clowns them for his streams i ain't gonna lie gang you might be too deep in bro you might be too deep in i i think that's really what it is here i, th I think you're just too deep in bro and this is on Jinxie's Reddit too. By Assumption the way, so. that caught traction. The way Sketch describes his tics and hand motions seems like someone who is just socially anxious. Like, do you have a condition? No, I don't have no. any con no. any condition. No, like I'm just like, just kind of. Yeah. So when people throw labels and names out there, it's kind of just like going, you know, I didn't put a label on it. I'm just having fun with it and like, yeah. you know, the the hand movements and motions and stuff like that. That's like just me getting energy out type. Like, yeah. I mean, there's cameras on you. Like, I'm not used to the. Well, what did you call it earlier? You said you have a tick. Well, like I used to, like my but my my good friends and family, like no, I do stuff with my fingers when I get excited. So like it's like yeah. unless I when I when I'm alone, like I'll be ripping it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. So like it's like not like Tourette's or anything. Like it's literally just like you know when I when I get excited or whatever. Like I'll yeah. Do it. My hands are like touching back of my head, but like so, so not so it's just like a general like sort of anxiousness. Oh yeah, like I'm very anxious generally. He also says the hand motions allow him to pause and think of a good joke. The reason why he squints so much is not some form of Tourette's, but rather because he actually has really bad eyesight. I'm actually <laughs> blind as a bat. I cannot see. <laughs> it's this bad. Yeah, no, these are these are like CVS just readers. Yeah. I just I don't like going to the eye doctor. And the last time I went there, like I was trying to get out of there. Even so, even with those readers, are you still pretty blind? Yeah. Really? I can't, like, I can't, I couldn't really. How does this nigga drive? By his face from out over here. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. No, it's pretty bad. One major thing that Sketch has proven to us is that you can be extremely successful in today's modern live streaming landscape without overworking yourself or trying to cause unnecessary controversy. Very Sketch true. doesn't even stream that often, maybe once or twice per week with no set schedule. But every time he comes on, he delivers, which has created a strong demand so fans are willing to wait days or even weeks for him to go back online. Sketch's infectious energy and hilarious one-liners have made him an internet superstar, but his positivity I'll be and seeing them all over TikTok, bro. around for a very long long time there was a time last a good year, video just like, for some reason theo just like wow you were really praying that like i feel like he didn't even really hear what he was saying bro wow man that's powerful huh yeah no power and prayer i hate theo bro just think of me, bro right. like that's that's one per like the i also think that theo von's also like that like all the time too bro there's just no fucking way that he'd be playing a character he's too consistent bro he's too consistent He's been like that for, like, years before he even really blew up and shit with all his podcasts and before Joe Rogan and all that. Like, this nigga's actually fucking insane. This guy, he's, like, generally good-hearted guy. Which none of this, like, uh, how old? That's a crazy question. I don't ever ask. <laughs> that was kind of wild. Never heard of Sketch until he was on this past weekend. Oh, wow. Well, you seem like a cool, funny dude. Hopefully he's going to continue to do it for himself. Yeah, I mean, like, he hasn't even been, like, like doing this shit for a year yet so it's kind of like yeah i don't even view sketch as like a streamer though he's more like a just content creator in general he's just a creator bro i feel like sketch would do really good like youtube though like making youtube videos i think he would do really good with that like the streaming stuff is cool but i think like he can really take over like on some youtube shit that's good though that was that was a really good video really informative